Let's stay with the Celtics. Stay with Kyrie Irving, Terry Rozier. Should the Boston Celtics look to trade Kyrie Irving this offseason? Uh, I mean, they could. Uh, I think Danny Ainge definitely knows uh, ways to get value for Kyrie Irving. I mean, Kyrie, it's Kyrie, so, like, I mean, definitely could get easy some lottery first-round picks out of him, get some assets. But, I mean, at this point, I would probably say, why would you need to? I mean, uh, he's on, he's not on an offensive contract right now. He's still got about another year before he has to re-up his contract. You've got Terry Rozier, who's still in on his rookie contract. So, I mean, why not keep a starting point guard with probably one of the best backup point guards in the league? I don't, I don't see any net, like, like any reason for them to have to. And honestly, I think the Celtics are probably in the, the best situation that any team could be in because they have so many assets and they still have the, some of the most cap space to do it with with the assets that they have. I mean, Kyrie's only they're only paying him eighteen million this year, twenty million next year, and then he's going to have to re up for his contract soon. Uh, and then we have their highest paid players, Gordon Hayward, and the next one down is Al Horford, and is a little pricey at twenty seven million. But I think uh, after Kyrie. The next highest paid player is Jason Tatum on his rookie contract. So I think they're probably one of the best players to be in. I don't, I don't see any reason for them to take Kyrie because they had Kyrie in some of those situations versus the Bucks, where it was a little tense. It would have been a four game series because how clutch Kyrie is, he would have shut the series down way earlier than what they had to go through in that seven games. Yeah, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that. They should trade Kyrie for sure this offseason. I think the one deal that they should move Kyrie for would be straight up with the Spurs. Kyrie Irving for Kawhi Leonard. Um, it seems like Kawhi will be out of San Antonio at the end of the season. So that would make sense. Kawhi would be able to go to a team that has that is loaded, would be ready to compete for a title right away. He would get out of San Antonio. He would still have a great coach. Like No one would not want to go to Boston. Uh, on the other hand, Kyrie would be able to go to San Antonio. It would still be his team because right now in Boston, I'm not so sure it's Kyrie Irving's team. I think it's Brad Stevens' team. That was one of the reasons that Kyrie left Cleveland is to have his own team. That might uh, not be. Uh, I mean, when when Kyrie was playing, though, it was obviously Kyrie's. I mean, yeah, if he goes to San Antonio, it's gonna be Popovich's team. Like, yeah, but like, not, I don't think he cares about that per se. I mean. Like, I, that's not, I, I don't think that's an issue yeah. with Kyrie. But you also, like, who knows how good Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are going to become. But, you know, so I think the deal, that deal would make sense, I think, for both parties. I think Boston would get better if they got Kawhi because then they would still have a really good starting point guard in Terry Rozier, and they would have the best two-player in the NBA. San Antonio is able to get rid of an unhappy player in Kawhi Leonard, and, and Popovich sort of gets a much better Tony Parker in Kyrie Irving. So I think that makes sense for Boston. Kyrie, you would also get a lot for him, like Kawhi Leonard. He's also been injury prone. Um, not, I don't know if Kyrie is a for sure number one player in the NBA. He's a very good number two. Like you can't get a better number two, and he's a closer. So the number one. I think, uh, all right, so my only issue with that, I do agree that it would be a win-win scenario for the Spurs Celtics obviously well I think the Celtics would then have an issue because their wing depth would be almost too much I mean how do you balance Jalen Brown Simi Oshley Gordon Hayward I mean all in Kawhi Leonard coming yeah. in the mix when you're only going to have Marcus Morris and I think the smartest move for the Celtics if they were to move Kyrie would be to move Kyrie to the Pelicans and get Anthony Davis. That would be the smartest move, in my opinion. Yeah. Get a little bit of assets over there, get Anthony Davis. The only position that they would be weak in, honestly, would be at their big position. Al Horford's more of a four, not necessarily a five. He's a very solid player. Very, He's played incredible this series. But if they have Anthony Davis, a guy who can stretch the floor for them, but can be dominant inside, I think that probably the only move that would, would make sense to where there wouldn't necessarily be a power struggle within 
Yeah, I mean, another interesting, too, is, like, what if they traded Gordon Hayward back to Utah? I think everyone would want to see that. And, like, and then they went out and got Kawhi Leonard, so that would, you know, get rid of the, alleviate the idea that you had too many forwards. I think, regardless, it's going to be an interesting, you know, the Celtics will be interesting to watch, one, for this postseason. Anything that they do from here on out is amazing, way beyond expectations. And then once we get to the offseason, it will be packed um, in the NBA, especially surrounding the Celtics and the possible moves, the possible draft picks they can move um, this offseason. So let's stay with that. We got the- some comments from uh, Kevin Bertolotto saying, no way they're trading AD, zero chance. I mean, if I were the Pelicans, I would honestly be stupid to trade away Anthony Davis. But yeah, you can't I- deny the fact that Boston has incredible assets with the absurd amount of first round picks that they have and the fact that while Anthony Davis may be out they'll still have Boogie Cousins and then they'd be getting Kyrie Irving with Drew Holiday along with a couple of first round picks so I mean honestly it it seems like it could happen um yeah I mean I I don't think the Pelicans would trade Anthony Davis either but I still think that to say Kawhi they can't afford him on a max contract but you're sending out Kyrie Irving um, so they, they're both going to be max contract guys. Okay, 